Getting my life together in 75 days. You can start whenever, just as long as you start. I haven't nailed down my health since 2021. I'd pick up habits and lose them. This challenge is about discipline and no longer blaming external influences for my well-being. I haven't felt my best. I've gained some weight that I've struggled to lose in the last two years. I've had some hormonal struggles, dealt with stress and anxiety. And overall, I was just hating how I kept comparing myself and not to others online, but to who I once was. Comparison is the thief of joy, they tell you, but no one tells you how to stop comparing yourself to who you once were, because you once were that. You did it, you achieved it. This is my journey to become my best self again. It's me against me. This is 75 Day Soft. Good morning, this is day one, obviously, of my 25 day soft. I'm basically ending my fast now. I am gonna make an avocado toast. After that, Ali and I are gonna head out to go to the library to work. So we're gonna do a packed lunch. So I'm using the Fastic app and I'm doing a 16 hour fast with a 8 hour eating window. With that being said, I'm also kind of just honoring my body. Um, so if I'm hungry earlier, I'm gonna just eat so that I don't actually spiral into like binge eating and overeating essentially. But if I can do it, then I will. Um, so today was one of those days. Um, I packed like a scone with some butter that is going to be like my snack for the day before we come home and have dinner. Um, I'm going to just tell you what like supplements I'm essentially taking. So I'm taking a probiotic. I have like a little stress pill thing that I'm taking now. And I'm taking this vitamin D once a week because I went to the doctor and did some blood tests and I have a vitamin D deficiency since moving to Denmark, which is funny. I was taking vitamin D, but I guess it just wasn't enough. Hey guys, so I'm on my 45 minute to an hour walk with Ali. Essentially the goal, as you've seen in the beginning of this video, is to reach 10k steps a day. So the route that we take is literally here by the lake. We kind of walk around three to four of the lake, which is quite nice. I did kind of like go over essentially like what I wanted to eat but I think it's also okay because it's that time of the month that just also started and I'm just you know craving something a little bit more sweeter um, for the rest of the week it is going to be healthy so stay tuned for more recipes and everything but yeah I need to do my 10 pages of reading plus my gratitude I also forgot to take a progress picture I would have ideally liked to do it in the morning but I'm just going to do it when I get home Day two of my 75 soft. I woke up, 
I was feeling super tired, but I actually slept better than I did on Monday, which is so weird. I'm currently working right now, so hence the glasses and like I'm doing all work, like I'm working from home. I mean, I'm constantly working from home because my job is remote, but I tend to like to go out and work out of the house because, you know, cabin fever is like a real thing. Today, it's just I've been out and about a lot, um, especially on the last weekend and last week and like I just kind of needed a day where I can just like not feel that pressure because I'm already going out like in the mornings and then I'm going out again like to do my walk and it's just a lot and like yesterday we did like I did my morning workout and then I went biking to the library and then we stayed at the library then we biked back and then I worked some more ate and then went out again to like do my walk and I think that just like drained me a little bit also uh, it's it's that week that's just a little bit like harder to do things so I just wanted to take it easy on myself and just work from home today but that's the update you did not need in this video my snack that I've had is biltong from Zimbabwe not a lot I don't I eat like maybe four or five pieces so that can be added into this video so my breakfast that's usually my breakfast that I have every day on a good day like that's my go-to breakfast I always have like my Greek yogurt with my homemade granola I will pop down the recipe down below I have plain granola I'm not about adding nuts and all that other fancy stuff just doesn't do it for me I just like my plain granola I'd rather pack it in with more fruits than like nuts and stuff because I have like all the seeds and I don't mind the seeds like I'm happy with the seeds I'd rather have seeds than nuts but yeah it's very plain granola and then I add in my flax seeds and my chia like pudding it's not really a pudding it's just chia seeds and water that's how you should eat chia seeds for the longest time I was not eating them like that I was just like straight up picking up raw chia seeds and putting them in the bowl and then uh, my mom found out that that's just not the way you do it because the chia seeds actually expand and whatever and you can actually see that in, when they go in the water not too sure about the logistics about that but essentially just make sure you prep your chia seeds before eating them Ali and I are going to make a dish from M the nutritionist and she's someone that I am going to be like using a lot of her recipes that I've found I found her off of a youtuber that I follow avidly her name is Becca Watson <laughs> morning guys i'm gonna be honest i had a very big moment of weakness this morning i woke up like just before my alarm went off i was feeling a little bit tired i was like oh, i don't want to go i'm up anyways i'm awake my body woke me up i might as well go i was like it's chilled it's yoga like it's also like the closest um workout class i have to like where we stay it's just a seven minute bike ride i'll go it'll be calm it's yoga i'm gonna feel like calm after the class when i tell you i have never sweated so hard in a yoga class in my entire life i died i think it was meant to be for advanced people it definitely was meant to be for advanced people we're balancing on one leg we're like twisting our arms behind ourselves there was poses i've never even heard of in yoga before not that I was ever an avid yoga going person, um, but all the classes I've ever gone to in yoga have been very calm, you know, downward facing dog into cobra and then back up and then the one leg comes up. This was like twisting and balancing. There's a lot of balancing. I've noticed with this yoga studio, there's a lot of like balancing on one leg. It's great, I love it, but today, Today I was dripping in sweat, like literally dripping in sweat. Everyone else was just calm in this class. I think because they all like go and I was like the only person who didn't 
go to this class before. I was just dying. I really was. to my event I'll also just excuse the laundry I don't know what the event exactly was because I'm in a, like a networking group um, from Soho house and we just got offered to go so it's actually for a whiskey brand called Highland Park I did not know about the whiskey brand before today or anything so they did serve us cocktails so I did have a cocktail. It was nice. And another strike to my 75 day soft. I don't even know if I should be calling it at this point. And they also served us like burrata tomatoes, little truffle chocolate balls, some like raw fish with like grapefruit. I don't know what it was, but it was spectacular. As you saw, Ali and I went to go and get something to eat. We got pizza. It was just a bit of like a rush day. There was like a lot of things. Like it was one after the other for me. So there just wasn't a lot of time to like plan and prep everything. In general, that's how life goes. So I don't know if I have time to go for my whole two hour walk. By the way, I've been waiting to get my socks and gloves for Pilates for like five days now. And because of like, Firstly, the first day when I wanted my stuff, well, when I was meant to get my stuff delivered, the guy was just fucking useless, didn't wait for me downstairs. Then the second day, we had the fire here in Copenhagen, which was very intense. So obviously there's traffic, they couldn't do any deliveries. So it actually came today. I literally got it like 15 minutes ago. After canceling two reformer Pilates classes, I finally have the socks and the gloves to go to Pilates this week. I just got ready for the day. I had my bar class this morning. It was so good. I'm really getting back into my whole ballet thing. Already so much better than last week. Not anywhere near where I once was, but yeah, slowly but surely. So it's quite nice. I feel good. It was a nice like bike ride there. I am gonna make myself a black coffee now because I am fasting. So it ends in about three hours. This is my favorite filter coffee. Like if I have to drink filter coffee, this is the filter coffee I'm drinking. Good morning, it's Friday. We have almost completed the first week of 75 Day Soft. Also, I did my hair quite nicely. I'm learning how to blow dry it nicely just because I used to do the whole curlers and everything and it's just too much effort. <laughs> I think my hairstyle is good enough to be able to do it just with like the brush. So I've learned some, I mean, I've just been doing techniques 
and like really just trying to like flick the ends in different ways. Obviously the hairstyle is what makes it, but I think I'm doing a pretty decent job of blow drying my hair. It's also not taking me too long. It's taking me 20 minutes and I love being quick. Yeah, so this morning I went to my first Pilates class, which I don't know, I don't think I've spoken about it in this vlog, but I've been trying to go to this Pilates class for like this entire week and I had to keep canceling because I didn't have the fucking socks and the fucking gloves that I needed and I had to wait for my Amazon to deliver them because I ordered them off of Amazon which you guys saw and that was like a whole mission like the first day it was meant to get delivered on Monday it didn't on Tuesday the fire it so and then yeah it got delivered yesterday but even then yesterday it said that it was going to be delayed and I was like oh I don't know if it's gonna have like if it's gonna come but it did i went to the pilates class though it was interesting obviously i am in a foreign country don't expect anything else but i went and did a full pilates reformer class my first ever pilates reformer class by the way all in danish it was an experience and a half but it wasn't that bad uh i'm definitely gonna go again i don't think it was terrible the instructor was really nice like she would demonstrate everything um before and even when she was like walking around checking everyone like there was a point where I wasn't doing the correct thing um like they had changed like the exercise so I she was just like like told me to like look at the girl next to me to like follow her because she was quite good as well so that's what I did and that girl was also kind of nice about it as well so it was a very nice intense class definitely like a form of Pilates it's just like all the kind of exercises I like and like the kind of muscle groups I like to work so I'm really happy about that so I'll be going to that class it was also raining this morning but we did it we got the workout in I made a soup last night after I came back from my walk I didn't film it I was just like I need to get stuff done it's already 10 o'clock at night I need to just make the soup put it away whatever I'm still fasting for another hour and 40 minutes and I'm probably gonna make the banana bread pancakes now i'm gonna do my my gratitude journaling i actually i got a cover for my ipad i didn't think i'd need one but i do need one because i do a lot of writing like this and i love the keyboard like i really love it um but that's nice for like when you're using it to like email and do other things to be doing my journaling or like take it around to like be doing my little like things i don't like being like having a bare ipad just not it's not the vibe i don't know i know that people like the idea of it but i don't particularly want to like just get it damaged and scratched and stuff for no reason i haven't spoken about what i use so i actually use good notes and the planner i use i got the free five minute journal planner i will find the link to the to this planner that i found i'm gonna quickly do my five minute journal so i do it in the morning and the evening so when you've seen me doing that in the video that's what i've been doing done it's time for this girl to get started on my work day i will see you when i have breakfast my fast is long done i'm joking it's not that long done same coffee as yesterday i'm now gonna make the banana pancakes so this banana and just cut off those edges and I promise you these don't taste like ass. Like I'm not someone who's like all about the the healthy way of doing things. Um like I'm not like those like health diet people that like wants to like have I don't know, low fat no, not like that. Like not low fat, like you know those like weird people who do like weird things in replace of something else. These are actually just good. Like they just taste good. And they're high in protein. Ooh, and I've butchered this pancake. <laughs> Guys, I promise I know how to cook. Tastes good though. Ooh, but look at this failure. I did it well the first time around, but like... <laughs> this, what is this? It's fine. She cooking slowly. But by the way, they do bubble. I didn't think they did. Oh, I just... Just put chocolate all over my camera. 
Can clearly tell it's Friday. I'm fucking unhinged. Um. Ew. I'm gonna put it down because with the way things are going today, I could have fallen. One pancake. Is this cooked? Yeah. Just <laughs> today is not the day for me cooking. Ugh. Oh, I'm so tired of messing it up. How do you burn both sides? <laughs> I literally burnt both fucking sides of this pancake. Fuck. Guys, this is breakfast. morning guys today i'm tired yesterday i didn't film anything of my dinner i went to ali's friends we made vietnamese rolls i say we but i didn't make anything i just got there in time to eat uh and then we stayed there playing games until like two in the morning so we got home quite late i didn't read at all yesterday but i managed to do my gratitude journaling and today i'm fasting still because i ate late i think ali and i will go and get breakfast a bit later i'm going to my flower making workshop right now so that's why i'm getting ready these are my flowers i kind of integrated them with the bouquet that i already had because they were kind of fine so i kind of like just meshed my bouquet that i made into here and i think it looks beautiful i know these are hanging completely out but I don't know, I think it looks gorgeous. I love it. Like, I really love it. It's giving spring, it's giving vibes. I'm obsessed with it, really and truly I am. I just got back home a little while ago. Um, I'm just heating up the soup that I made on Thursday for dinner. I'm gonna do my, like, five-minute journaling now. I reached my 10K steps today because um, I went walking around the city and everything, so I don't go specifically for a walk but I had like power walk session going into the city. Then I walked around in the city and then a power session walk back. So in total it's about like 40 minutes of a power walk, if that makes sense. So this is the soup. Again, I will link down the recipe for it down below. Probably doesn't look the, like most appetizing, but I promise you it's, it tastes really good. Um, is the end of one of my 75 days self i hope you enjoyed this video so far and are gonna stay tuned with me for the next week kind of wanted to do a short reflection that i wrote down in my little youtube journal this is where i plan everything out for my channel um i have a lot of videos that i've planned and i just haven't executed yet but hopefully we'll get back into that how am i feeling how i'm feeling i'm feeling good i feel like i accomplished a lot this week i showed up for myself every day within the bounds but i also didn't allow this challenge to dictate my life and not allow me to do things um outside of it so i did like two things this week which didn't allow me to like kind of complete like not complete, complete a full day of tasks that I set out to do. But it was kind of like worthwhile because obviously I've moved a priority of mine as well here is to like get out, be social, make some new friends, form new connections here. So yeah, like I need to build a life here. So that's part of it. Where can I improve? Definitely food. This week there was a lot of snacking. I could also improve with reading. I've read my pages that I need to read. I haven't documented me reading, which is, <laughs> I think I documented once, which I was like running and reading at the same time. I need to read 10 pages per day, but the thing is, is that I can't just, just read 10 pages. I'll probably read more and then the following day I probably won't read and then 
I'll read again. So I think maybe what we're going to do is just like set a certain amount of pages per week that I want to read. As long as we're reading 70 pages per week, it's fine because I can't just read 10 pages and put the book down. And you know what I mean? Like, I know that that's not the whole point of it, but you know, but then the following day, I feel like I've read like 50. Why am I, I don't feel like I need to read again. What's easy and what's hard? Gratitude. That's been actually quite easy. Going for my walks has been easy. Actually going to my workout classes has also been quite easy. Um, there has been days where I like would wake up and like, I think it was two days I woke up and I was like, mm, I don't know if I really want to go. But then I like, I was like, no time. Like, you feel so much better when you go, like, go. Like, you're awake anyways. Might as well go. Stay tuned for next week's video. Love you all so, so much. And thank you so much for being here and on this journey with me. And especially if you made it to the end, I really, really do appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.